Hello everybody out there here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to the Dreams of Poland mod and to my Kingdom of Poland run with the uh, German King, uh, Friedrich I of Saxony. Now, the UK decided to completely screw up last episode. We did lose um, Eastern Poland as well to the Soviets. We had to give them it. We, we didn't really have a choice. France is at war and they're in the Allies with us, although they are now the Orleanist France. Uh, and we're kind of trying to hold on over here against the combined might of the Czechs and the Germans. I think the one thing saving us right now is that the Czechs aren't actually in the Axis, which is good. I just had to open my mouth. I just, I just had to say it. I just had to test fate there, and yep, that's that's what I get. Right, we're currently short of equipment as well, which is not great, um, not great at all. Uh, mainly because we're still short. I'm gonna go ahead and trade with the uh, the Soviets. I don't have any convoys, that's why. I'll trade with the Soviets just because I don't have to spend any convoys on them. Okay, with the Czechs now on the axis, the Germans will probably spread out and come into the area. This they are, as long as we can hold on. Right, are they are they seriously not moving into there? Well, if that's the case, I'll get those boys back in there. That's a better position to be in. We are holding, which is good. Um, Gina Third, yes, we know. We know he's here. So Italy's actually kind of losing control of Africa, which is good. Um, they're losing their bits, which is fantastic. Uh, ongoing conflict in Suez, though. And the Germans also have some troops over here in Bang Hazi. Of course, we do have the well conflict that's going on down here as well, and that's a big push from the Germans. And Estonia has sadly lost, so the Allies are still at war with them. Great. I am not joining that conflict. I'll probably end up just abandoning the Allies after this, to be fair, because we are we're going to end up paying them off anyways. Because we're going to do that focus where we literally take all of Germany. Thank you. Well, we're going to take all of Germany, which is already going to basically tell them, wow, we don't like you. You've, you've made so much world tension. Uh, can we actually go ahead and... Yeah, we need to own it all. So yeah, everyone's going to get really mad at us, but we're going to cl get claimed cores on all of Germany. <laughs> I also apologize in advance. I'm going to be blowing my nose a lot during this episode. Let's see if we can make some progress, actually. Now, see, the one good thing about the Czechs not being in the Axis for the time, for that little brief period was the fact that uh, I could cut off the Germans. And by getting through Germany, I could get to Prague easier, but uh, alas, that is no longer the case. I don't think we want to go too mental, but at the same time, um, they don't seem to be coping very well. See, if the Czechs weren't in right now, we would be absolutely destroying the Germans. Cancel end lease. That's fine. We're probably making guns again. Hopefully. We're almost out of fuel though, which is not great. The planes are still the planes are still holding air superiority, which is good. Wow! Get in there. I'll send a couple of divisions to engage those guys. Just to hold them up until reinforcements can get into positions. Yeah, I don't want to stretch ourselves too thin, because we'll be playing with fire. I think we should just chill, defend, maybe resolve some of our ongoing issues with supplies. Um, it's a shame we did lose Eastern Poland, not going to lie. We, we will reclaim it. We will not abandon the Poles now under uh, Soviet rule. Cannot let that stand. we go ahead and do atomic research, why not? I've got a couple of divisions there. Oh, the UK's finally over here, actually, maybe helping. And then the garrison Gdansk. That's exactly what we need. You know what? We have lost 188,000, but we have killed 1.1 million Germans, almost 200k of uh, the Czechs. We've not really done too much damage against the rest of the boys, but. 
and time will. I'm glad Hungary's not in yet, but I really don't want to jinx it. I could actually guarantee their independence. I don't actually know if they're going for. Hungary, I guarantee your independence. Let's be friends, Horthy. Let's be friends. I don't know how you're really going to respond to that, but let's be friends. Just doing our best to try and hold on to what we got. German manpower, how is it looking? Still a decent wee bit to go. I wish I could see the supply. Because they're not, a lot of their divisions are looking absolutely pathetic. See if we had more troops, I reckon we'd be able to absolutely destroy them. You know, even if France, if France was to divert some troops to me, we're having a field day. Ho, 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 ho. Right. There's too many of these in there. Why is there six of these in there? Don't make much sense to me. I'm going to go ahead and bin that. Saying that, you probably need all them to help defend against them. What an absolute mess has turned into, though. We could maybe actually make a push for Berlin. Which probably isn't actually a bad idea. We can secure the capital. And so you don't push just yet. Again, we don't want to push too far, though. I think Berlin's the last stop I really want to make on our little journey here. Yeah, we got some sh hella shuffling going on. We need to strategically redeploy there. If we can, engage, engage there. Aha! I got them. Yes, we secured Berlin. Wait, what? Roma <laughs> Romania. <laughs> oh no, Romania's rejected that. Okay, let's try to read this in a second. <laughs> Desperate fighting has been reported from Berlin, the capital of Germany, it was now believed that the city is completely in Polish hands. After advancing along the Frankfurter Allee, the Poles reached the Alexanderplatz, which was the scene of a pitched battle. Elsewhere in the city, the Brandenburg Gate collapsed, supposedly after being rammed by a Polish tank. We, we don't even have any bloody tanks. And the Kroll Opera House was leveled by an artillery barrage after stubborn SS defenders refused to surrender. The red and white of the Polish flag now flies above the Reichstag, and the last pockets of resistance have been dealt with. The Polish juggernaut cannot be stopped. Hell yeah. That event is perfect when the Poles are winning. <laughs> right. Onwards, men. Onwards to victory. The Reich is coming crashing down. If only the French could start breaching through from the Maginot. I know it's a bit of a task and a challenge for them, but it would be greatly appreciated. It would help us out massively. I'm going to go ahead and research the 10 TP. Uh, yes, we've we, we've launched the invasion already. I just wanted that done so we can just jump straight into the uh, the focus to get cores as soon as we have Germany. They're probably going to come straight in to try and reclaim Berlin, like which you can already tell they're trying very hard to do. Still holding quite nicely in our southern front. Those fortifications we built will definitely be helping us there. Now, if we can actually break through the Prague, that would be absolutely fantastic. The only issue is we're going to have to go through the Sudetenland fortresses, which, um, as we all know, are, uh, are hella thick and uh, will not be an easy chat to task for us. But I am liking how this is progressing for us right now. We do have some divisions moving. I do kind of want to get to the uh, river and secure, uh, you know, the Kiel Canal for ourselves. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. Yeah, I do just want to get to the Kiel Canal. Kiel Canal in Hamburg would be very nice under our control. Then we've got the, uh, the I th I'm going to guess the River Rhine. It runs through Germany, so I'm guessing that's the river. I might be wrong. Head down to Hamburg and then we'll crush that tank division. Yep, fantastic. Right, Reds. The majority of you just stay on that. I am just going to get one division just to... Or a couple of divisions to mop up there. I did have some guys pushing here, which should continue pushing. Because if we can get, uh, you know, the river completely under control, I'll be very happy. Are we actually going to be able to go through the... Uh, Cancel land leaves. That's fine. That is 100% fine. Yeah, the Sudetenland fortresses are going to be hell to get through. Now, we have actually lost some of Krakow, which is... It's not great, but we will be reclaiming that very, very soon. With the rate we're going at... Actually, we're kind of breaching near enough into the... See if the checks weren't in now. All these German divisions would be dead. Can we maybe push into Dresden? Again, we don't We don't, We don't. don't want to bite off more we can chew. We need to be careful here. But I'm, I'm liking the natural defences we're coming up, uh, coming up to. The rivers are perfect for us. Breaching through... And getting some of the Sudetenland land under our control is going to be nice as well. Pretty successful push. I'm just going to get a lot of divisions to try and push that because it's going to take a lot to break them. But uh, we are certainly carrying this ally, ally effort. If we go for majors, France has lost the least amount, but they've been in for the least amount of time. The UK has lost the most. Almost half a million dead. I don't even think they've killed enough to... Actually, no, they have killed enough to kind of warrant the loss. Uh, they've really not done a lot against Germany, um, the cowards. Um, we've killed 1.5 of the 1.75 million casualties the Germans have suffered. Which, you know, hats off to us. We have done a fantastic job. I think we should try and breach through to Prague. I feel like we should just try and knock out the Czechs. At the same time, there is really no rush. There is really no rush. So we've got we've got a nice wee defence position. Berlin's under our control. We've got the I'm gonna say it's the Rhine. We've got that completely secured now. We're just unable to breach through there, but that's fine. It's a bit of a a bit of an annoying spot that they're in just because of the sheer I can push from so many directions. I'd rather just have that secured and then we can divert some divisions elsewhere. Um, let's go ahead and this is quite good vigorous economy minus five consumer goods and five construction speed hence why I'm working towards it um, I'm gonna just put those onto convoys but short tungsten as well might have to get yeah we should probably get some more tungsten imported the Soviets are gonna be our main trade partner for the time being um, unless do I need I need convoys I don't really want to use something that takes convoys to the Soviets. At least I can get eight from the Soviets. I'll take that for the time being. Until they tell me that we no longer have that tungsten. You can't use it. It's ours. Just thinking. We're not in war economy. There we go. That should definitely help us out. We are working on repairs right now, but that's fine. See, we could push the north. We could push the north, but is it really worth doing? Because if we swing around, how much am I going to be able to cover that whole front? Because we've, we've still got a decent amount of divisions, but... I think the Czechs are kind of biding their time here. Yeah, they're definitely biding their time in there. Which is not ideal for us. With the assistance of a couple more divisions, are we going to be able to break them? Just, I would love to get in there. I think we're going to break them. Another issue for the Czechs is that they're also running out of equipment. Like, we have got some shortages now. We have got some shortages. 
Um, but I think for the most part we'll be okay because they're running out of equipment faster than we are. The Italians have managed to reinforce. I think a couple more divisions are reinforcing from there. We've got a fresh division there that might be able to assist. We'd, it's okay. It's Italian incompetence here and five Czech divisions that are so close to dying off. I'd love to be able to resecure uh, Krakow as well. I don't think we really want to do that. I'm thinking um, we could actually get that engineer. Actually, no. Let's do it on signal companies. Let's rush that ahead of time, but let's use that research bonus we got. You drop off. You push now. Okay. Looks like we are winning this few more days. Just hold off one of those divisions there just so we can... Yes! That's what we wanted. Now they can redistribute into better positions. I need some guys back in there. That's fine. We're holding nicely up here. The German war machine's running out of juice, I think. They have just under a million in their army, so they're almost got double the strength of us, but <laughs> their divisions are definitely not double the strength of mine. I'm happy with where the Reds are right now. I would like to... See, I would like to push into the Czechs and kind of push close to Vienna because Romania we can hold by a few divisions. And I think they're kind of focusing more on being aggressive down here. They have flipped to fascists and they're doing King Michael's coup. Okay, that makes sense that they've joined the Axis now. They might have been leaning towards that way anyways. The Czechs joining is completely unrealistic. Uh, okay, well, Prague isn't too far away. It's not too far away. The only issue is they do have some forts in their way. I think breaching through here is probably the way to go. Um, although we should maybe look at maybe trying to cut them off from the capital, not secure it yet. So maybe through here. Yeah, again, I could do with getting these guys out the road. But level 7 land fortune, they're not taking any damage. So what we'll do is... Let's see, we should definitely be able to win in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divert division from there. Saying that, they might have just doomed themselves a little bit there. We might be able to break them, because there's only two divisions. I think regardless of what we get up to now, it's going to be a hard task to push through the Czech forts. It was always going to be a hard push. At the same time, it's a hard push that has actually paid off, so... And I appreciate France sending some good old aid to us. Oh. We've allowed them to get back in there, though. That's the only issue there. Wait, can you engage them long enough? Actually, hold the boat there. What was that level 7 they've taken? What's this? Level 7 as well. Bollocks, I shouldn't have lost that land. I didn't realise I was leaving it open like that. Okay, okay, right. Just trying to think where the best place to push is. How are we doing on equipment? Okay, we're catching up on guns, which is good. I think we may just have to push the reds for the time being. Can I just say how useless France has been? Like, they have been useless. I know they have the the west wall is there. And, you know, the river. But, like, come on. Like, you could at least do some damage against the Italians. You know, like, Poland doing the carrying. It's, it's great and all, but, you know. Can we push back in here? Is that actually going to be possible? They stop attacking us there. Maybe they swing some of those divisions around. I mean, just provide me the opportunity to break them. They may have indeed just provided me that opportunity to indeed do that. They've also let me hopefully have broken them. Another division, just to boost that time back up. Just while we finish off in here. Yes, fantastic. Now, divert your attention in there. When he is there. There we go. That's some Germans encircled. Finish them off. 
All right, if we can push three more little bits of land, actually not even three more, if we just cut through those two there, cavalry, you're on that. Two years, engage those check divisions. When you get in here, engage. Cured Romania, yep, we knew that was coming. Oh no, we're shuffling. We're doing the shuffle. Redistributing quickly, please. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine that they've got back in there. It's okay. It's okay for the time being. Hopefully they'll kind of reduce the number of troops they've got in there. Actually, that would be flipping cutting them off anyways. Combined effort on pushing into there. Redstone push. Should be able to. That's a lot of divisions pushing in there. Well, this territory is going to be a dick. Um, let's go ahead and finish off this part of the tree. Why not? Now, that's freeing up divisions, so... We should try and... Can we do a combined effort through there? Just to break them, I'd love to cut the checks in two. Fair enough, they'll still be able to get back round, but... It'd still be beneficial for us. I'm just going to put a lot of priority onto guns. I think that's the thing we're needing the most of, so... We'll get the 14 TP now. Just get ourselves modernised for when, you know, we finally do... Start to. Oh, that has caused a big ruckus on the front. France, hold on long enough for the reinforcements to arrive. You have. Fantastic. This cavalry needs some assistance, though. That's the only issue. Um, good. They're starting to hold nicely in there. And if anything, they've just allowed me the opportunity to actually slot myself in here, hopefully. Uh, cavalry is probably going to lose in there. I think we should be. Fi oh, we've moved some divisions around. Wait, no. Oh, phew. phew. I thought Stalin was coming. He shouldn't come for me. I gave him what he wanted. He shouldn't come for me right now. He should be focusing on elsewhere. And that, that is that is Kakyapan stuff, though, when you see that pop up as Poland. It's like already at war with Germany. What could this possibly be now? Oh, it's just Stalin coming for more real estate. Ah, check some knives and hold on there. That's fine. Why are you naval invading there? France is trying an aggressive push, which is, let's be honest, not going to flip an end well for them. I know I've been complaining this episode about them not actually doing much, but that is, that's not a good way of going about doing things. We're going to be able to push through those mountains. I don't think so. Initial results would prove yes, but that's only initially. Can we push through into Zelenia? No. Hey, you know what? We might be able to push through here. They are already redistributing themselves. Hard fought conflict we're in, like. I li like how the French kind of like expect me to join in the war against the Soviets. Yep, that's not happening. You can you can rest well now, just over there on that front, because nothing's gonna happen. German pressure towards the Benelux. Surely they're not stupid enough to go ahead and declare another war on someone. There we go. Another wee push forward. Very much what we needed. You push, you push, you push. Release some pressure on those boys. You can stop pushing now as well.
try pushing in there as well now. Is this part of my land? No, oh, Zalzi. Yes, let me take back Zalzi. That's my rightful clay. Germans are sending a lot of boys in. Not a chance. Not a chance you're reinforcing them. Ah, I think we might just have to let them reinforce. See, I'm, I'm kind of in two frames of mind here. I should probably try and put more pressure onto the Germans. God forbid they get their equipment back, because they've still got tons of factories. Yeah, 100 factories, military factories max. Like, you know, they're still capable of producing equipment that they need. You know, if I had some more, like, support from the Allies over here, you know, we'd be absolutely fine. But, you know, no, they're, they're completely against the doing good. Um, in fact, France actually looks like they're losing there. At least the Benelux is holding. How many divisions do the Czechs got still? Yep, 72 max. Yeah, that's a bit of a nuisance, like. Don't think I want to try and push this front. The Czechs are very much not pushing. Oh yeah, that's a nice amount of, like, allied troops that are chilling over here. Are you actually going to do anything? I'm gonna push across the river. I think we need to start swinging around, try and get to the west wall and destroy it from the opposite end. Only time will tell if that's the right plan to go for. Oh, big push from them. A big push that's not ending well. Right, we do need to remember not to get too carried away though, that will be our downfall. That's a very aggressive push, whoever's doing that. I do expect it to be the Germans. Oh, they've done some more bloody shuffling, haven't they? If we're quick, we might be able to secure in there. I might actually pull out of here. Republican victory. Can we push in there now? They're looking very weak. Can we get involved in that? Because that... Same time, I didn't want them to be retreating. Come on, come on, get in there. Yes, 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 yes. Good, you can stop engaging now. Yes, boys, I'm liking this, I'm liking it. Wait, did they, how did they push us back out of there? I don't know what we've done there to balls that up. Follow Gibra Ah, oh, because they're obviously a Soviet puppet now. That's great, so France is going to die. We're going to be left to fight this conflict by ourselves. How much equipment do we have? Right. It's a hard ask, but maybe, no. Oh, you're in the tar part type pack now. And we're in positive guns anyways, we won't send any. Oh, this is disastrous. Looks like they're actually gonna break our boys there as well. Actually, maybe not, maybe not. Stuff you checks, you pricks.
Right, we sorted out that little problem we had ongoing, so hopefully. If you can stop shuffling, you know, that would be great. That would be great. Let's do the Western expansion. I think the West are pretty much safe for the time being, so we might as well develop it. And let's show those checks in Zelenia how it's done. Oh, another big push from the Czechs, of all people. Well, you've been pretty not, you know, you're not being very democratic this game, I have to say. Yeah, I know they're protecting Yugoslavia, you know, they're helping out their old little buddies, but at the same time, why would you get involved in the world war? You know, like, use your brain. Oh, if we can get the, the Mageberg. Ah, grand! Grand, we're making slow progress. Even though the rest of the allies are making slow progress to die. Saying that, it's 6 to 36, you should be able to hold that. Don't be aggressive, just hold. I do have to go through the Pyrenees. This Pyrenees isn't the mountain range. Or I might just be spewing absolute garbage out my mouth right now. Can you come in and insist with this push? Actually, why are we pushing through mountains when there's flipping plains here? Or forests? Much better going through the forests than anywhere else. Okay, well, if they want to do an aggressive push like that, then by all means, on you go. Butcher more men. You're not even considering major checks. You've lost 500k to me. We've lost 305k. I think we're going to have to go ahead and up the conscription. The war is kind of draining us a little bit, but just wait until we get those cores. We, we all feel very good after that. Okay, the Italians are the only ones that are fully organized in there. And we all know what the Italians are like. Come on, let's split them in two. Beat that division. Yes. Yes. The four of you that are on that, get away from there. You four are on this. Okay, Is, are we got shuffling ongoing? Oh, would you look at that? We do have shuffling ongoing. You're now reds. Oh, would you look at that? That has been completely abandoned by the Axis powers. Who would have seen that coming, eh? Right, we might be able to cut them off. We'll call them the desperate checks that are trying to escape. One way or another, death is coming for you. Oh, we could have a potential wee break over here. Oh, no. Ah, oh, the desperate checks are dead. Oh, no! Czechoslovakia, what has happened? This is when flipping hungry joins Jack's that. No, don't, don't, don't test fate. Don't test fate. Yeah, there's a special place in hell waiting for you guys. How oh, dare you stand up against us? Look at the checks in there. So long, farewell. Please do not be Stalin. Japan's just a fine against us. Ah, yes. Oh, colonial troops, non core manpower. Give me that. That will be very beneficial in this moment in time. Come on, guys. All yes. Just, just pile on in there. The casualties are going to soar through the roof, and I'm going to be able to do a nice wee evil laugh. Actually, not evil. We're not evil. I think they pushed us back slightly over here, but that's fine. Because we're making progress over here on this front. So who cares? Shall we try and go into Romania? I think we should. I think we should. There's only 18 boys on there? What the hell do you... What are you playing at? All he is. 
That's the wrong guy we've drawn it with, Mackinson. Onwards to victory, boys. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, the French are crumbling faster than a, I don't know, a Pop-Tart. I don't know if Pop-Tarts even crumble. At least we know that's just Japan justifying on us. That can go away. Hi, Romania. Oh, mother of Jesus. That's a lot of boys coming. Wow, that's a lot of boys. How many divisions does Romania have? Not that many, actually. That is like the entirety of the Romanian army coming to greet us. Well, hello there. It's nice to meet you all. So, the Czechs have still got a lot of divisions over here. How many divisions they got left? Still got 46 max, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me? How dare you? I've seen a three. Why are we not... Can oh, stretch of thin, thin, thin. That's how we're feeling over there. We will break them. I kind of just want to get in here. I really wish I'd got them checks encircled. Right, stop pushing, stop pushing, stop pushing. You guys, stop. You defend, you defend. I just want to get in here and then we have a nice, a nice front. Oh, there we go. Right, come at us. I think what we actually may be able to do is actually grab you guys and divert you to there. Additional divisions is exactly what this front's needing right now. Oh, what a mess. But anyways, guys, I am going to leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we shall be back very soon for another episode. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. Then now.